So remember when I told you that the variance formula was variance equals the sum of probability times x minus mean squared? That's true, but there is another variance formula that's also really neat. This one here, variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value squared. So I really want to show you why this is equal to this. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to prove that this thing is equal to this thing. These are both formulas for variance. I just want to show you that they are both the same. In order to convince you, I'm going to make the left-hand side of this formula look like the right-hand side. So, first thing I'm going to do is take these brackets and understand that it's this bracket squared, which means it's that bracket times itself. Now that I've got this set of brackets and this set of brackets, I can uh, multiply them using the, the FOIL method. Now, it might not look like much at the moment, but remember that this mean, it actually means expected value e to the x. So I'm just going to replace it with e to the x. Alright, so I've replaced those uh, means with expected value of x, not e to the x. Now what I can do is expand these brackets further by multiplying this term, this term, and this term by that probability there. Alright, now what we have is a sum of, and then in a big set of red brackets there, this and this and this. We can expand that because it's going to be the sum of that the sum of that and the sum of that. There is a lot going on in this line here, so you're going to have to be a bit careful here. We have the sum of pi xi squared. Now, the sum of pi xi, that's our expected value formula. So this here is finding the expected value of x squared. So we can replace this bit here with the expected value of um, x squared. Okay, let's focus our energy over here, because this one's an interesting one. The sum of the probability of ex squared. Need a little bracket in here. Probability of ex squared. Now, there's only one ex squared term. That means that the probability of that thing happening must be equal to 1. It's not like we have a table of four things happening. So this whole thing here is 1 times this, which means that the sum of 1 times that one thing is just that one thing. So we end up with ex squared there. Now, you can see we're really getting close because we've got this ex squared here, and we've got this e to the e value of, sorry, expected value of x all squared, which is very close to what we're aiming for. Now take a look at uh, this bit right here. Alright, so this is the sum of 2 pixi, but the sum of pixi is our formula for expected value. So this thing here is two expected values. So what we now have with this middle section is minus 2 um, expected value. and But then there's another expected value there. So expected value times expected value, which is expected value squared. So now we can finish this up because we have e x squared minus 2 e x squared, except it's like this. It's e x times e x, which is e x squared plus ex squared. So we have ex squared, negative 2 ex squared plus ex all squared is um, negative ex squared. And we have now proven that the left hand side, which is this thing here, is equal to the right hand side, which is right there. So we have proven this second variance formula. I'm going to take a little break and in the next video I'm going to show you why you would want to have a formula like that in your arsenal.